OK, now we're going to look at some basic collision detection. At the moment, we have our bouncing box from the last tutorial. But now I've introduced a wall into the scene that it can also bounce off. So the first thing we want to do is to write a script that's going to tell us when it hits something. So when you want to detect a collision, you have to detect a collision between one object and other objects. So we're going to write a script for the cube specifically. So if you go to create JavaScript, that will create a new behavior script. And I'm going to rename this box drop. You can call your scripts pretty much whatever you like. Um, don't start the names with numbers and don't put spaces in the file names ideally. So you can either double click on it or hit edit at the top. And every new script will come with uh, an update function um, which will run every frame. But we don't want to do that. We want to write a collision detection function. So the way that we do that is to write function on collision enter. And in order to check if this has happened, we can simply write out a message into the console. So I can say debug.log and then write in a string of text, like hit something, and then close that. OK, so whenever this, uh, whatever this script is applied to, so it's going to be the cube, so whenever the cube hits something, it's going to print that into the console, which you'll see in a moment. So if we switch back to Unity, what we can do is drag and drop that script onto our cube. The other way to add a script is to select the object and go to Component Scripts and then select the name of the script. Once it's added, you'll see it as a component on the right in the inspector. So as soon as I hit Play now, you can see at the bottom it says hit something and if I look at the console there's several instances of that box bouncing off other objects colliders so it's printed hit something four times so what if we want to check which particular object we've hit well we can double click on our script to go back to it and we'll remove that debug log for a moment now into the parenthesis here what we can do is add in a variable name so I'm going to add in a variable that I'll call the collision and we need to specify a type so we need to say colon and then capital C collision then what we can do is write an if statement that says if the collision is with a game object which has a name equal to floor then we can print out a different message so we can say debug.log hit the floor for example so let's try that out so whenever you edit a script you'll need to save it before you switch back to unity so go to save switch back now if I play the game it hits the floor and it's bounced twice more there so if I have a look in the console you can see it's printed out hit the floor several times it doesn't print it out when it hits the wall so let's try checking for uh, collisions with that object so if I write in an else if statement and I'm going to be really lazy here and just take that from the previous one this time we're going to write the name of the object in the hierarchy wall which is what we want to check for and we're going to say hit the wall instead so as usual, file save and switch back to Unity. And now if I press play, hit the floor, hit the wall, hit the floor. OK, so you can see it's hit the floor first, then it bounced off the wall and then back onto the floor. OK, so that's how you'll check for collisions with different objects in Unity.